gonna go to Disneyland. I'm gonna try to recreate or try to match as best as possible uh, recipes of uh, Disneyland food, like snacks, treats, lunch, dinners, desserts, uh, you know, the works. I've been literally waiting for my sister for like almost an hour. <laughs> so the place we're going to is called Coney Motel, I guess, Cone Motel. So I was totally wrong what it's called. <laughs> It is called the Cozy Cone Motel. We're gonna get the bacon mac and cheese cone. Nine dollars. Chili con queso as well. And also uh, they get the Fillmore feeling groovy aids, the pomegranate lime. She's like, you don't have to say it. So we lied. We got both. So this is the cone chili queso one. And this is the bacon mac and cheese one. The challenge is to make both of these on a budget but with the right recipe that they have their own recipe for their own mac and cheese and somehow I'm going to figure out how to make these cones. Oh, oh, oh. And we got a yummy uh, pomegranate limeade lemonade and it's delicious. So we're you ready to eat this. This is really, really good. The bacon bits definitely add a nice touch to it. I have tried the cone once before and it's a little chewy, but it's good. So, and my sister's, hers is just pure chili. I thought I had mac and cheese in it. I'm, I'm silly. To make this, and to make this, and maybe for fun even that. Challenge accepted. You're doing it again. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, my friends. This is all the ingredients to make both cones that we're gonna use this uh, pizza crust to try to perfect the cone. Oh, hey, chicken broth. I forgot about you. Two cups in a large pot to a boiling point, and then I'm going to add the salt and then the elbow pasta. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but maybe it's this is how they make their pasta. It might be different. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, my sister and I had just like the manual uh, can opener. This is like a crazy automatic robotic one and I still don't know how to use it. Oh, see? Oh god. Ladies and gentlemen, Liz is being challenged right now. What? Oh my god! It's so scary! I don't like it! Oh, oh dear. And now I'm gonna pour this weird organic evaporated milk that I've never had before. Yummy. It's good. I like it. What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. I've lost the whisk. You've lost the whisk. Oh no, 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 no. How are we gonna go on? <laughs> Do you even know what a whisk is? I have no idea. That's okay. This isn't gonna add water in there either. <laughs> and then whisk it again. I need a cheese grater. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. It's <laughs> is this way up here? David or something. He's wearing the shirt. Yeah, he's wearing the shirt that we got him. Now I am grating sharp cheddar cheese for the mac and cheese sauce. Okay, it's definitely about right. Maybe a little bit more, but that's okay. The cheesier, the better. And whisk that together. And then one and a half of Dijon mustard. Tablespoons. Okay, that's good. Okay. So now we just added this last ingredient, which is pretty much a pound of sharp cheddar cheese. This looks beautiful. It smells scrumptious. It's legit like a cheese sauce. And now we're gonna make our chili. And last but not least, we're gonna make those cones. Uh, please think of me. I'm very scared that I don't mess this up. Let's go swimming in a cheese sauce. No, be careful. No, it's gonna fall all in. 
Oh god, no, I can't. Ah! That's okay! I just... <laughs> We just made it Disney's so mac good. and cheese. We just made Disney's mac and cheese. Look at that. Look at that! I'm going to try my own mac and cheese. Of course my sister helped me, but this looks like exactly what we just ate in that cone. So. Is it good? I could cry. Really? I can't believe that tastes just like it. It does? Yeah, you wanna try it? Okay, now we're gonna go to the dungeon. Is that the mac and cheese? Yeah. It's Disney's mac and cheese. Does it taste like Disney's mac and cheese? I think so, yeah. Isn't that weird? Like legit? I don't ever get the mac and cheese, but... Oh my god, we're filming this? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I don't ever get the mac and cheese at Disneyland, so... <laughs> I don't, I don't. But I mean, you've tried it when we, when we do get like the stuff in like in the bowl or, you know, in the cone. Yeah. Or just in general, like. It has that texture. It has that texture. Yeah, it's, there's a graininess to it. Yeah. That, uh, that Disney I, has. Yeah, I think. Okay, so I'm actually really proud of myself because I'm not really a crafty person, but I'm doing how to make the shape of the cone. Um, there's different ways to do it, but I think the easiest way for me personally was finding construction paper or printing paper and rolling it and taper, or I only have a stapler for right now, so um, it's, you know, that you wanna, printing paper's a good size, and then to, and then the foil's gonna be a little bit bigger, and then we're gonna add the pizza dough. So, um, should I demonstrate how well, I do this? You gotta roll it in the foil. So now I'm going to, I'm assuming start on the bottom, right? And then work myself up. And I guess we're just gonna roll it up. And then we're gonna fold it down. Kinda looks like one, I guess. So we are gonna use a Pillsbury Pizza Crust Classic. And this always reminds me of like Jack in the Box. I'm scared of, of the popping noise. Ah! See? Oh. oh my god. You don't have to press down anything. I guess not. Okay. That was very exciting. That's not even get. Well, like you said, it's not gonna get all the way to the top, anyways. Yeah. So obviously that was kind of a, a, an epic fail, but that's okay. Um, there is another way that you can do this. Uh, rather than flattening it out and putting and rolling it up, we're going to roll this as if we're going to make a pretzel, and we're going to wrap it around uh, the cone instead. So, um, this moment. Uh, Ow! God! God! So my sister... He's gonna roll it for us. Oh, it looks more so. Yeah. Oh Let's take that. Yeah, that looks. Way that better. looks so much better. Okay, guys, looks like the secret <laughs> is to do it. Which we still gotta. Maybe we'll open it up for the next one, and then maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that looks so much better than the other one. What? Oh, no more baits. Why did I... So we just melted some butter. So it gives it a nice brown top. Nice and a little crispy. I'm going to pour in the chili. And then... And then we're gonna put in the chili. That was pretty much all of it. Mm -hmm. So that was two bags. Yeah. Mmm. 
And we could have gotten the green chilies and like cut it up. Yeah, too. that's That'd okay. Alright. There we get that. Totally. Okay, my friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was definitely a challenge making the bread cones. <laughs> However, we definitely... Uh, we're successful with, I believe, definitely the mac and cheese of the flavor as if you are going to Disneyland. Um, it kind of looks like it. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like the bread bowl, uh, the bread cone, but that's okay. And this one's really big, but... <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's a, it's a pomegranate uh, limeade <laughs> lemonade. We have all of those ingredients? Nah. But uh, looks like we have pomegranate lemonade. No, but I bought or this stuff that's on there. It's whipped cream. <laughs> that was really good. It is really good. It's just like being at Disney. Okay, this is the deconstructed <laughs> of the bacon mac and cheese cone and the chili con queso. But I just had some bread. There's more in there. If you want to fill it yourself, you can. So I have to imagine that this is my my. My cone? Yeah! I can do that. Okay. That was like your favorite thing at Cars Line, wasn't it? What? The cone bowl things. Yeah, it was a, I like the pulled pork. Mac and cheese is delicious also. So, yay or nay? This is yay, yeah. I'm yeah, enjoying this. This is good. I, can drop a list. The, the mac and cheese tastes like it does. Disneyland mac and cheese. Right? It has the same. Yeah. Can we do this already? It yeah, has but the it's same. okay, we, we can repeat. It has the same um, texture. Texture, mm -hmm. yeah, as the uh, as Disneyland mac and cheese does. Sadly, I can't tell. That's okay, but you like it. He always gets cheeseburgers, so what are you gonna do? This is true. Well, if you guys want more bread, there's a lot more <laughs> bread in the kitchen. That, um, you, bought a, you bought a bunch of bread. No, just the cones were just massive. Oh, well, what bread is this then? Uh, we use a uh, pizza crust, a uh, Pillsbury uh, pizza crust. Mm. It's doughy. It was a lot of fun, um, so I'll definitely, uh, below, we'll, I'll uh, have the link for you guys to uh, try to make your own at home. Uh, send me pictures on, you know, DM through Instagram or Facebook. I'm definitely curious if you guys are going to try what I did. Uh, with that said, um, I really hope you guys uh, like my little new experience that I'm doing, which is, you know, trying recipes to see if I can to try to recreate uh, awesome recipes and things that we love at Disneyland. Um, I think I'll give myself like at least a solid B. So with that, I'm going to enjoy my little uh, pomegranate limeade and eat all the bread in the world. Bye guys, love you. <laughs> it's so big. Um, <laughs> I feel like I need whatever. Let me Let's see what's next.